I, I was sleeping, but thank God for the Holy Books. Amen, brother? Amen. I said, thank God for the Holy Books. I got an attack in my sleep. I won't say everything because it's sort of technical and because of the children. So I'll just leave that part out of it. Yes. Amen. And while I got the attack, the, the strong demon came to me in the bed and was attacking me. And then all of a sudden the place just drop out because brother, I don't know about it, but I don't sleep in darkness. I sleep with my light lights on. And the demons turn off the lights. And I was on, in one fight and I said, why you turn off the light for? He said, turn off the light. Turn on the light. And one resting and resting and resting and resting. And wrestling and wrestling, and I found myself kicking and kicking and kicking. One of the time, I almost kicked off the pillow of the bed, and so I was wrestling and kicking in my sleep because I was attacked by the enemy. The enemy wanted to out my light, wanted to keep me in dark. Brethren, I am just giving God thanks for His keeping power. You know, and, and, and that being said, you know, why I came this morning, I was led to pray in the Constitution and I prayed. Brother, yes, when we come to church for me, I was praying, but not because I was attacked this morning, I was praying that it was darkness and whatever. But the Lord knows the direction and what is going on with people of God. And hearing the various testimonies, I prayed and I said, Lord, bless and anoint the preacher and say the word. In the word, not knowing that I would be the preacher for the day. So, the Lord has been preparing me for such a time as this. Uh, don't stand with me when I sing this other song before I go into the word. Oh, Lord is thy keeper. 
The Lord is thy shame upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul to heaven. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus, so well. I want you to pray in your hearts. Because, well, as I said, when you come here, I did not want us to be preaching. So that means I did write a sermon going home. When I was called upon to bring the word, I still did not have a word because I did not come to be preaching. And while the testimony was going on, and hearing the various testimonies of the brethren, I'm saying, Lord, what will you have me to say to your people? Praise the Lord Jesus. But thank God for this psalm, which is a comforting psalm this morning. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. As people of God, we have to learn to look to the source. Because if it is only in man alone we have help, we would, we would be such a failure. Men most miserable. But because David had a personal relationship with the Lord, and he was always in danger running from Saul, so are we were always in danger, running from the enemy. But brethren, I am going to say something that might shock us. As people of God, we must not always be on the defensive. Because we have a powerful God. We have to stand flat footed. Stand your ground. Look into the enemy's face. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. The scripture said, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord will not suffer our foot to be moved. Plant your foot in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Call upon the strength of source, which is God Almighty. I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Because sometimes if we look to man, man might not help us. Or, or if thief are breaking the house and we are trying to call police, by the time police reach, the thief don't do it and one done. But when you call upon Jesus, the summer just ascension never be seen.
The Bible talks about spiritual wickedness in high places. Brethren, when Daniel set his heart towards God to pray, the prince of Persia withstood the prayer 21 days. But the Lord said, But Daniel, from the day I set your heart towards me, I heard your prayers. And I say help. But the prince of Persia withstood the angel with the answer. Hallelujah. So the angel with the answer, because he was not strong enough, it sent back to the quarters. Hallelujah. Call for enforcement. Hallelujah. I said, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shame upon the right hand. Right hand means power. Right hand means strength. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Hallelujah. 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 So the wicked people are dig a pit. So I hear them say all the time, people say when you dig one, no dig one, dig two. But I remember saying to somebody at work, they said, look here, man. No dig no wall. No dig no ditches. Build a bridge to walk over. Build a sturdy structure. Hallelujah. Come push with me, Bishop. No dig no gallows. Come on. No dig no whole field of my job here. Build a bridge. Come on, somebody. Because when you dig one, no my job in here. But if you build a bridge, you can walk over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
But let us be like a tree in Psalm 1 that is planted by the rivers of water. That does water, living water. That bring it forth, growth in its season. Our leaves shall not wither. And whatever we do it shall prosper. The scripture goes on to say, Dear God, we are not so. But I let it sharp, which will drive it on me. Come on. Hallelujah. So we the people of God. Once you connect to the source, you must bring forth fruit. Amen to somebody. Amen, Amen to somebody. Amen. 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 I heard a testimony. Uh, uh, somebody said um, they, they, they had some melons. He threw for those two. And uh, 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 the place where that show it was so dry and barren. Not now, but because surely, but here comes a time, rain fall, and the ground receive the seed. Amen. Sometimes as people of God, it seems like nothing is not going on. Bishop, something of one bishop, when you plant a tree, it's not the same time you plant a tree. In the tree grow. The seed has to die. And when it seems like it's dead, it is germinating. The ground is, is receiving it. All you need is some water. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So are we as the people of God. At times we go through different seasons. But if we if it seems like we're going through the dry time now, just give me a chance. As long as you're still rooted in the ground. Hallelujah! Some trees rain you know, have to water them you know, because of the root gone further down. So the root gone down to where the water source is. So as long as you're in Jesus. Even though I look like nothing I want, something I want. Come on, I want. Send down the road. Things might seem topsy turvy. But thank God for the storms. Thank God for the trials. For these trials are to make you strong. Amen. The Lord is thy keeper this morning. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is our keeper. The Lord is the shade upon our right hand. He shall preserve our soul. Only God can preserve our soul. Amen, somebody. I said, only God can preserve the soul. Only God can touch the soul. Man don't have nothing to do with that. Hallelujah. That's why when, when, when the rich young man, when, he, when, when the blessing starts overflowing, so the soul sometimes, Bishop always said, it, 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 it's not, it's not, when you're going through the, 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 the dry time, it is curse. It's the, it's the bless, sometimes the blessing is the curse. The rich young man, they're not thinking thoughtful to give God thanks. But if someone break down the barn and build a bigger barn, if they have plenty to offer some, some help to somebody, and then he may say to him, soul, take it at rest, lift it up. Eh? Because he has much time and he's satisfied. But when nothing that we gain is not on our own. No pain. No care how rich you be. No care how wealthy. And you feel the body of bossy. When God already feel the life, God said, Today, your soul is required. Amen, somebody. You can't buy God with your millions and your billions of them. Come on, somebody. Amen. You can't buy God with the millions and the billions of dollars. So, brother, let us take care of our soul this morning. 
Let us put our soul in the keeper's hand. Amen. 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 Amen somebody. Amen. Put your soul in the keeper's hand. Because only he can preserve our soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time to it, even forevermore. That is one of the promises of God that we can back up. The Lord said he's going to keep us. Amen. The Lord said he's going to keep us in the hollow palm of his hand. The Lord said, none that come to me I have lost. Save the son of perdition. It's you who have to come out of the keeping corporate of the Lord. But as long as you put your trust in God, God is bound by his word to keep us. Because he said, it will keep us even to the end of the world. Come on, come on. God is bound by his word. When we can go back on our word, God can't go back on his word. It must accomplish. So the Lord said, he's going to preserve us. Let us be assured this morning. Let us be encouraged that our help is in the name of the Lord and that the Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our comforter. I say the Lord is our comforter. Amen. 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 The Lord is our comforter. May the Lord your trust this morning. I'm speaking even to the little children because I've noticed that shirt from the other day. I'm, I am watching a certain child that is coming to this church. I'm not calling my name. I'm not calling any agenda either. But brethren, but according to see from me, was for a small. Miss Elf, see from me, yes? From me, little child too. But God is concerned about the children. Suffer the little children to come unto me. And forbid them not. For as such is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our preserver. The Lord is our shame upon our right hand. He shall preserve our soul. God bless you in Jesus' name.